<laughs> All right. Dave, let's go ahead and start here. Your overall assessment on the game from just how you felt your guys performed after going down to nothing to just everything as a whole from special teams, given just there wasn't a lot of uh, prep time you guys had. Yeah, you know, I mean, I'd, I'd start even, I'd go a little bit further uh, than that to the start and just talk about the atmosphere and the people in the building and the opportunity to, to come here to, to Spokane and uh, play in front of, you know, this this kind of a crowd on night number one of the exhibition season was uh, was awesome. Um, you know, Spokane Chiefs hosting us and, and taking care of uh, both teams in this building. Uh, it was a, that's, you know, that's a, just a great way to start the the exhibition season. So thanks to, you know, everybody that put the work in there. You know, for, for our group, we came out of the second period or first period down by two, but we had a decent start. Um, you know, it's it's the first game, so you know both teams are, you know, just trying to you know find their find their game, find a little bit of pace, and um, you know we came out of that period down by two, but um, you know the, the Sheehan line went out and scored a you know a good goal, a big goal for us. Um, I thought you know it was a little indicative of their night. I thought they were really important for us and. Um, you know, a lot of good efforts up and down the lineup. Obviously, a ton of things to clean up, but good efforts. When you're looking at doing your power plays, what was kind of your methodology, especially with a guy like Brian Donato on QB1? Well, you know, he's, he's a guy that, you know, in that spot, I think there's, there's different roles and different opportunities that could be available for him. Uh, he's played in different spots on the power play, and that's one that we wanted to be able to see him tonight. And you know, that unit, I thought, gained a little bit of chemistry uh, as the game went on. We had quite a few opportunities, so I think naturally that's going to happen if you're able to, you know, gain some uh, some zone time. And for me, that's probably the biggest key is you know that group was able to generate possession, uh, which leads to offensive zone time. And you know, as a power play, that's that's the first place to start is with that possession. You talked about the crowd. Uh, how great it was. Were you a little surprised to see that like this? Yeah, you know, I, I wasn't. I mean, I've uh, I've never been in the building here before, but I've heard awesome things about it. I know I know the the roots, uh, the hockey roots that are in this community, and um, uh, you know, I, so I, I don't think I would use the word, you know, uh, uh, you know, that I was surprised by it. But it's still great. So you know, it's great to be back in a full building. Uh, we've we've all missed that for uh, you know for a long time, and to be able to do it here was great. What was the sentiment in the room tonight before, during, and after the game? It was pretty businesslike, you know, to be honest with you. I think everybody, was, everybody was excited to get going. Um, I think that's natural you know, when you get into you know, your first exhibition game, uh, especially as a group that's playing for the first time together and you know, having the, uh, the honor to put these jerseys on and play together. So there was a little extra excitement there. Um, but all in all, I mean, when you, when you look around with, you know, with the veterans and the leadership that we have in, in that dressing room, it was a pretty business-like, you know, atmosphere. We, we have a lot to work at, um, you know, and uh, tonight was, you know, was a good step and a positive step and one that gives us lots of, uh, lots of uh, learning opportunities. How many individual players really stick out for you tonight? It seems like some of the depth players really, really stepped up and showed some of their talent. Yeah, it's tough to pick out one or two. You know, I, I mentioned... Uh, you know, Sheehan's line. I thought you, know, you you look for you know you look for people playing their role uh, and doing their part. And you know that uh, you know I thought that group showed you know pretty good chemistry. But you know on on several of our forward lines, we we showed pretty good chemistry as the game went along in different parts of the game. You know, um, you know I look overall structurally. Uh, there's you know there's a lot of uh, pieces that we saw tonight. We can use our you know defensive zone coverage as an example. We saw good pieces of it, but there's still you know missing pieces. So we have to add that uh, over the next two weeks here and become more complete. And and that's the case with every part of our game. They didn't get a lot of shots, and I know you said this once before. Like for you, it's about not necessarily the quantity of shots that you can get, but the quality. I mean, how did you feel about the quality of shots that the Nuts got? I mean, was that kind of what you want to limit to? Oh, well, we didn't give up. You know, in the first uh, 20 minutes, we didn't give up a whole lot. Um, you know, coming off the power play, obviously we gave up the breakaway, and then they had some good. They had some good opportunities on their power play. Um, you know, o overall, you know, like I said, I, we we broke the puck the puck out sporadically early on. Got a little bit better there in some of our structures, um, and didn't you know we didn't spend a ton of time in our D zone. I think there was you know two or three extended shifts in the third period where 
we were able to keep it to the outside, but we spent a lot of time in there. We have to clean those up. That's too much time spent, you know, in the defensive zone in those, you know, in, on those two or three occasions. You talked yesterday about making sure you got your lines that you put together enough time, enough chances. You had a couple lines that looked good today, the, 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 the geeky line and the, yeah. uh, the McCann line. Can we expect to see them together a little bit longer now? We have to talk about that. We have the day off tomorrow. We'll go back and reevaluate that and, and look at the, the, you know, the changes that we want to make and some of the new combinations that we want to look at. Um, you know, there are things there that we liked. Uh, if we do go away from them to look at something different, we can always come back to that combination. Uh, but that's something we have to really look at closely and, and we'll discuss and talk about tonight and tomorrow through the day off. Every year is, is, is a new year and, and, you know, in my belief, you're always building a new team. You know, you have different structures, a few different people involved. Um, you know, in this case, it's just, uh, you know, everybody is new. So, you know, with part of that, there's, there, there's a real great opportunity because everybody is new. So everybody is, you know, is really digging in and working hard. Uh, you know, to find that chemistry and, and to become part of, you know, part of a, you know, a real strong group. Um, but there's no question, it is, a, it is a greater challenge when you're starting, um, you know, from the baseline with systems, um, with new people and with new personalities, uh, you know, right from, right from the ground up. But, uh, you know, in saying that, what I've seen is a bunch of guys that are really excited to do that and dig in and be part of that challenge to come together quickly. Are you good?